Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I was feeling red. Like, in a lot of my current fall videos, I'm always using like burnt oranges, orange, peach, like the fall leaf tones. So today, I wanted to step outside of my box and I wanted to use different colors. I wanted to kind of get more into the reds. I came up with this red, like burgundy. Yeah, it's like a red cranberry burgundy look. And I actually did like a little pop of color and I did a blue lash line. So um, it's like a dark blue lash line. As you can see, it's very wearable. It's not too like bam and bright, like as if it was spring or summer, but it is adding a little bit of color to your fall look. Whoa. I hate when like stuff gets in my eye, especially like when I have on eye makeup and my eye waters. Ugh. I'm not gonna hold you up. If you enjoyed this look, please make sure that you like and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more looks like this. And if you all have any other suggestions of any fall looks that we can do, go ahead and leave it down in the description bar. I was thinking of doing a series of the awareness um, type thing. Like uh, last month, October, I did one for breast cancer. So um, just an idea. So link down in the description bar like what you all think. Make sure that you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All of that will be listed down below. And I'm not gonna hold you up any longer to see how to get this red smoky eye. Just make sure that you stay tuned and keep watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with the face. Here I'm using the NYX Honey You Do You or Honey Do Me Up and I'm just using that. It's like this gold flex serum, which is really moisturizing, really great for your skin. So then for my T-zone, I do get really oily, so this is the Becca um, Ever Matte Poreless Primer. It's best to pat this in. When you rub it, it will ball up because it does take in moisture. So then I also put um, my Too Faced Hangover Primer around the outer rim, the outer rim of my face. Now I wanted to give myself a little bit of glow, so this is a sample of the Becca Gold Champagne. And I put that on and then I used my Lancome Tainted Idol as my foundation. With that, I um, you know, blended it all together and it kind of gave me a nice natural glow. To prime my lids, I'm using the MAC 24 Hour um, eye primer and this is just going to ensure that my eyeshadow stays on for a long time. Now I'm starting with this Makeup Forever M510. This is a matte white eyeshadow. It's more like a matte cream eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with this reddish color which is M738 and I'm just going to blend that with a fluffy crown brush all in my crease. I'm doing circular motions and I'm windshield wipering all over the crease bone. And you just really want to make sure that you build that color to your liking. You can have it as pigmented as you want it or as transparent as you want it. I mean, I want it to be a nice, easy transition, so I want it a lot. So now I'm using the Makeup Geek Mars, and this is the um, palette by Manny MUA. And I'm using a Sigma E35, which is my favorite brush. Actually, I think this is a Zoeva brush. I'll have it listed on here. Anyway, so I'm going in windshield wiper motions, kind of focusing that right on the center of the lid. Not the lid, um, the crease. And then going in with this color by ColourPop. This is Porter, and I believe this comes from the Kathleen Lights palette. And it's kind of like a maroon, cranberry, wine type color. Very pretty. Then I'm just tight lining, kind of like just really close to the lash line using this Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And I'm not winging it out. I'm just adding my mascara and then my lashes. So for the lower lash line, I use the ColourPop Liner in Bee Sting. And I'm going in with this color by Makeup Forever, which is ME216. Then I went back in with some more liner and that was a black eyeliner by ColourPop. Then I'm moving on to the rest of my face. The lashes I used are by Coco Lashes and they are in the um, style Soho. 
For blush, I use um, MAC Gingerly. The bronzer, I use the Terracotta number no. 5. And for highlight, I'm going back in with that Becca Champagne. And I'm just going to go over that with the BH Cosmetic Carly Bible Palette. It's like that gold color, second to the darkest. And I'm going to put that all over the top of my cheekbones and the rest of my face. <laughs> And just want to make sure that you really hit the top of those cheekbones. This is a really nice, I forgot how nice this was. So now for lips, I'm using Cork by MAC, which you all know this is my favorite lip liner. And I'm also going in with a MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy, which is more of like a brown nude. And on top of that, I'm going to go over it with the Lip Gloss Boy Bait, which is also by MAC. I've really been loving these MAC combinations as of lately. <laughs> really nice. Anything that I didn't mention in the tutorial will be listed down below. And I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, share my video, and subscribe. Again, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. And until next time, my beautiful people, bye guys. Oh, and I almost forgot. Can't forget to set your face. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. And now we're done. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.